I'm here today with one of our uh, Titan Motors ambassadors, Luke Lewis from the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks. Um, now Luke's been in and out of a couple of our uh, Jeeps uh, that, are, that are surrounding us at the moment. Now Luke, uh, what sort of do you like about the Jeep and uh, what, what do you sort of prefer? You're, you're currently in the Cherokee, you have been driving the Grand Cherokee, uh, which one do you prefer? Yeah, well the, Jean the Grand Cherokee um, I had for a while, I had it for about 10,000 k's and I absolutely loved it. It was uh, the lever, everything about it, it was um, real luxury, drive really nice. Um, yeah, the petrol consumption on it was pretty good, so uh, yeah, I love the, the green Cherokee, but the uh, Cherokee, I've only sort of been driving for about a week. Yeah. Um, I do love it. Uh, it's nice and easy to get in and out of. Um, I find that I'm not wrecking the leather seats and that when I get out of it. So, yeah, look, they're both, um, you know, both got their ups and downs. I, I think, personally, um, I love the Grand Cherokee because I just love the look of it. Um, I just, yeah, everything about it, I love it. Uh, the Cherokee, I think, uh, drives really nice. Um, it's real comfy. Uh, but I think in summer it would be really nice too, not having the lever. So, yeah, look, I love both of them, but um, there's, there's no really sort of faults that I've found with it, to be honest with you. I, I um, yeah, look, I, I, if I had to uh, buy a car, like I said to you before, I'd never drove a Jeep, but um, it's definitely something I'd get straight back into. Yeah, definitely. I, I know you are a bit of a car man, uh, kind of like myself. Uh, you've had a few cars over the time. Uh, I think you had a Ford Raptor even at one stage, which is a, a pretty cool American car. Um, obviously, the Jeeps are, are of American descent. Uh, but definitely it's good to see that you are enjoying the vehicle. Uh, what do you think of these colours that you currently got? You've got the blue one currently, what do you think about that? Yeah, the blue one's not too bad, it doesn't show the dirt that much to be honest. Um, normally I'm sort of washing them you know, once a week, but um, the white one was outstanding because I didn't really, you don't see anything on the, on the white one, but um, yeah, look, I, I love the blue colour, I think it's a pretty classy looking colour. Um, you know, my, my two favourite colours are white and black, but um, you know, black's just too hard to keep clean for me, but uh, yeah, look, uh, if I had a pre pre preference, it would be the, the the blue, the white, or the gunmetal grey. For sure, we'll have to get you back in a white one then. <laughs> now, uh, what sort of what sort of news in the off season? What do you guys get up to? Yeah, mate. Look, for me, it's been pretty good. Um, just trying to get my injuries right, which has uh, been a bit of a disappointment to me this year um, with my shoulder in the World Cup and and now I'm in and my knee. But everything's on the mend. My shoulder's probably feeling the best it's ever felt in the last couple of years. Um, my knee's back on the mend. I'm start running in about four weeks. So, yeah, look. Um, pretty much just let my hair down and sort of just kicking back, relax and trying to get the body right, doing all the rehab, prehab sort of stuff and um, no holidays, we just moved house and um, you know, just enjoying that kind of that kind of side of things at the moment but um, you know, come November 3 we'll be back into the swing of things and getting flogged and enjoying the nice summer and, and the heat and um, yeah, fingers crossed get to go away in um, you know, the Christmas break. Yeah, for sure. Now I know uh, I think everyone at home and uh, I, I know I was watching the game when you came off and uh, did the shoulder. Uh, I think that's probably the most painful injury I've ever seen happen on a footy field. Uh, what, can you explain to us sort of how, how that felt or how that went down? Yeah, mate, it was um, yeah something I'll probably never forget. Uh, the pain was excruciating. It probably it was out. My shoulder was out for about 45 minutes. I'd done a fair bit of nerve damage as well. But um, yeah, look, when they got it back in, it was fine. It felt great. Um, but then when I got over, you got the operation done. My arm sort of went dead. Lost all feelings from my hands and all up my forearm and. You know, it took about six months to get the feeling back and then I had to get a nerve conduction test and um, that conduction test I think sort of shocked it back into making it start to move but it's just been a long uh, probably 12 months I'd say prehab and rehab of trying to get the actual get the muscle working in my shoulder again so it's been real frustrating but um, you know at the same time you know you've got to take the good with the bad and you know it's been one of them years it's been frustrating all around for everyone at the club but um, yeah, looking looking forward to 2015. We've got a couple of good buys, and yeah, look, I think um, you know we're on definitely on and up, and yeah, look, uh, we can play worry-free football next year. That's the part I'm looking forward to most. Yeah, well, I'm sort of the same boat, being a Sharks fan myself. I, I can't wait to Flano's back and uh, a good, exciting 2015. But yeah, thanks for being part of the Tyne Motor Group. Ah, uh, thanks for having me. I love it. Done.